Kathy Jung. I've been in the industry doing makeup since 1984. I had no plans to become a makeup artist. I sort of fell into it. I had been doing a whole bunch of other jobs and then I ended up in London. The only thing I was doing was working in a club called the WAG Club one night a week. And I had a makeup artist friend who I had worked with and had been her model in Los Angeles. Her name is Phyllis Cohen. She's a makeup genius. She's a makeup illustrator and a fantasy makeup artist. So I went over and she gave me a really quick lesson. I think it was like under half an hour. She painted my fa half my face and I had to paint half something very like you know, I just followed her lead. And then she gave me a bunch of makeup, which was really cool. So I put it in a Plano art box. It was like all the shadows and everything. And I was so excited to get that. I mean, she's the reason, Phyllis Cohen's the reason why I'm doing makeup today. I worked with a lot of bands, a lot of singers, but I worked with Twisted Sister. We aren't gonna take it. So I worked on that video. The first day they do their own makeup, and the second day they let me help them do their makeup. And then I had to do all the kids. So most of the jobs that I did with the music videos, I was the only makeup artist, no assistant. Had to do the star, and the musicians, the talent, and all the background extras, which was great training for me because still learning, I got a chance to kind of work with a lot of different faces and different climates, situations that would call for me to be innovative and how things would work and last for a 20 plus hour day. But anyway, with Twisted Sister, I think people will go back now and they know who I'm talking about because in the end it's kind of like, oh my God, that's like an iconic video from the 80s. I worked with Michael Bay for many, many years. <laughs> I worked for him about 10 years doing music videos and commercials, and then I did some films with Michael. It really made me think fast and be as quick as possible and as ready as possible. All those things, I think, made me better on the set and working in the industry to think ahead. So I didn't have to be told what to do, that I would know ahead of time. It's uh, nice that you're able to kind of suss out what's going on before someone asks you. I attribute that to working with Michael Bay, and I thank him for that. With Aubrey Plaza's SNL look, that was really kind of exciting because it was kind of the first time that everybody on a broad scale was gonna see her blonde hair, which she had done for a movie she's shooting. After we decided what dress she was going to wear, we thought that a red lip would be really great. It would really pop and just boldly go with this blonde hair look that she had. She just carried it off perfectly. I did her opening monologue look and then her introduction looks and then the amazing SNL makeup and hair team take over during the show. I had talked to their person there who was like, wow, that lips <laughs> was really hard to get off. And so I was like, oh, okay, right. I, I'm gonna like, I'll do something that's a little less long wear. So it'll be easier for her to take it off, but it'll be nice because it'll leave a little bit of color, which is great if it's okay. So we worked out that that was okay. So I, I kind of just like toned down my little long wearability trick and just went for something that was red but didn't need to last for hours and hours. The quickest way that you can make your look more sophisticated or elegant or add color or if you feel blah, you don't necessarily have to do any other makeup. You just swipe on a lip color, red, for example. It can be done without having to do many or no other parts. So I think that's what I love about a lip, as I'm wearing today. Because I, <laughs> me speaking of red, I just remembered I'm wearing. Advice that I give to someone starting out is to not take anything personally to really have uh, a sense of criticism, but constructive for yourself on how your day went creatively, interactively, communicatively. It's very important besides the art of makeup, if you're working on a job, to be able to do lots more than just makeup. And a lot of it is about communication.